here's the deal. Art doesn't have to be expensive. Getting the creative process going can be as simple as using the materials in your home. Often, tools that you might be throwing away or you put in the recycle bin. Here are old notebooks. We all get those back to school lists that have all the folders, notebooks that you need. One, my daughter used just the first page. She must not have enjoyed learning about prepositions. So <laughs> this one only has the sticker on it. So it's like, normally, would you throw that away? Would you reuse it? I'm going to reuse it. Today, we're gonna start painting in these. I love creating messy art journals. These are gonna start to be the base for some. I love reusing things, but this year I'm trying to do it even more. As I stepped back from my full-time job, I'm trying to look at each of my creations, each of my projects that I want to do. And if I don't have a supply, instead of running out to get it, I'm trying to think creatively how else I can complete that project or that craft in my head without buying anything else so i used to buy these notebooks for like 50 cents at the beginning of the school year and here i found some around my house stuffed in corners in my daughter's bedroom old dresser cabinets and even bags so here's another way that we can just save money use something we already have and still enjoy the creative process Art journaling is one of my favorite ways to be creative. I love how there's lots of different ways you can use this one tool. So there's times when I want to paint and I can paint messy base pages. There's other days where I'm sitting on the couch with the family and I just want to doodle. I can pick up some markers and doodle over all these colorful painted pages. There's times when words in a magazine or books stand out to me that I just want to write out or cut letters out of a magazine and make my own word. But a art journal, there's so many different ways you can use it. And what I've learned is that some people don't feel as comfortable starting with a white journal. The white pages can be intimidating. So I've started making these messy art journals just full of base colors so they can inspire someone else to then get creative. I've done the hard work, the time consuming, the messy part of just filling these journals, getting them started. But I love to think of them as like a permission slip because now I can hand it over to another artist, another individual, and they can bring their own ideas, their own creations, their own images, their own words to life. So it's just a permission slip to get someone else started in the creative process. If art journaling sounds fun to you, I hope you'll search your house for an old journal that you can then use for an art journal or feel free to check out my website and purchase one of mine.